first video of 2024. And this is the kind of weather I get to deal with. <sighs> Gotta love Midwest winter, people. Well, it just so happens that it gives me an excuse to do another dumb experiment. We're just going to go right into it. I don't feel like <laughs> explaining myself. So today we're going to see if a computer can run in sub-zero temperatures. So right now in my garage, it's like probably negative four, negative five or so. It's really damn cold. Just take my word for it. Okay, I lied. It's like way colder than that. <laughs> really, really cold. So yeah, I decided to <laughs> bring a computer out here and see just how cold we can get this thing to go and see if it can withstand it. Now, before we get started, let's talk about how operating temperatures work with most electronics. Consumer grade devices are usually rated for between zero and 70 degrees Celsius for operating temperatures, with more extreme temperatures being limited to automotive, industrial, and military applications. Let's look at the LCD screens in my car, for example. So in normal operating temperatures, it works perfectly fine, but in this instance, in the freezing cold Midwest weather, the molecular crystals inside the LCD screen literally start to slow down, which causes the display to become sluggish and slow to respond. Now, everybody knows what happens to electronics when they get too hot. So in this instance, if my computer was getting too hot, it would either throttle the CPU to protect itself or it would shut down due to a thermal event. But what happens if I run my computer in extreme cold conditions? Before we find out, let's run the computer at room temperatures and get some readings. So with the fan speed set to auto, sitting on the desktop, we're reading about 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. And under full load, the system got up to 66 degrees Celsius for its highest temp. So still well within the operating temperature range. Now let's run the same test, but with the fan speed cranked up to 100%. Running the CPU fan at max speed actually brought down our idling temps by 10 degrees Celsius. We're sitting at about 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. Very impressive. With the system at full load, our max temp was 54 degrees Celsius. Again, nearly a 10 degree difference. Let's go to our sensors here. And right now, doing absolutely nothing on the desktop. <laughs> we're, we're sitting at like <laughs> almost single digits <laughs> for the CPU temperature. So pretty damn cold. Okay, so I've basically been stress testing this thing for about 10 minutes or so. And at max, <laughs> when the system was really being pushed to its limits, we're sitting at 30 degrees Celsius. Although it's not sounding too happy. I don't know which fan that is, but it's like, yeah, does not sound happy. But we're gonna continue anyway. All right, so now we have the fan cranked up at 100% and it's still not sounding happy. But check out that. <laughs> That temperature <laughs> with the system doing nothing on the desktop we're sitting at like <laughs> almost zero degrees Celsius maybe even colder than that it, it might not be actually accurately reading the temperature it's probably lower than that but wow that is crazy stress testing this thing at a hundred percent CPU fan speed and we're sitting at about, eh, I mean, it cooled down a little bit. Honestly, not by much. But still, <laughs> that is pretty impressive. So yeah, if for some reason you're using your computer in the middle of Antarctica, it'll do just fine. All right, let's bring this thing back inside. I think it's had enough. <laughs> 